Rutherford Issues with Brian Barrett on FM 101.9 and AM 1450 Murfreesboro, FM 100.5 Smyrna. Listen and watch at WGNSRadio.com. Rutherford Issues is powered by Middle Tennessee Electric and MTE's Charitable Foundation, Sharing Change, is funded by members who round up their electric bills to the nearest dollar each month as a donation and support hundreds of nonprofits. Find out more at sharingchange.org. Well, it's time to talk about the Salvation Army of uh, Rutherford County here this morning. And uh, joining us today are the chair and vice chair, MTE's Jay Sanders and also Nissan's Greg Armstrong. And uh, Jay, you know a little bit about that sharing change thing, right? I, I don't know what's going on with the old Zoom machine. Yeah, I don't either. That's okay, Brian. That's how technology goes sometimes. You know, uh, we'll just improvise and uh, we'll make it work. Well, good to have you. And uh, Greg, that may be the case with you. I'm not sure. So you may want to give me a a call on on the uh, station phone there. Yeah. So you can do that and we'll be be in good shape. Jay, you are the uh, chair of the uh, Salvation Army. So uh, how long have you been uh, the chair? Yes, sir. Yeah, so I've been the chair for a year now, um, and I'm honored to serve in that position. You know, um, it's really opened my eyes up about opportunities to serve with the Salvation Army um, in ways that other residents in Rutherford County can give back to those in need. Um, You know, obviously, it's a humbling position as well, and I'm just glad that, you know, we have other people like Greg 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 Armstrong and other individuals that serve alongside us on the board. So um, you have been a board member for quite some time, I, I believe. Uh, you were on the board when, when I was there serving. That's correct, yeah. I've, uh, I've had the opportunity now to serve for a number of years. Um, Dr. James Calder several years ago asked me if I would serve on the board, and um, you know, it's an opportunity that I couldn't pass Sure. Well, um, glad that that you're doing that as well. And um, talk to me here just a little bit about some of the things that um, uh, are going on with the advisory council and uh, how how that advisory council works alongside with the the Salvation Army here in Murfreesboro. So, um, has a number of positions. You know, uh, Greg Armstrong. He serves as the vice chair. Um, on the advisory council, and then Phil Barnett serves as a treasurer as well um, on that uh, council, and so um, we've got a number of new council members as well, and, you know, we're always looking to um, increase the capacity in which we can serve uh, the Salvation Army, and one way we can do that is by bringing on new council members. Here recently, we were able to bring on two new council members, uh, Robin Say, Say with uh, um, she's with Parks Realty, and then uh, Tasha uh, Price, she's with Ascend Federal Credit Union, and we're re- we we're recently able to bring on both of those individuals. They're going to be huge assets um, to the Salvation Army, and um, we're just looking forward to them serving alongside of us. Um, that is, is good to know here. So we've got Jay Sanders joining us and he is with the, uh, Salvation Army's uh, advisory council and the, the work that is about to go on in maybe the busiest season for the Salvation Army coming up with the red kettle and angel tree. Um, how important is it for the corporate community here in Rutherford County to get behind the Salvation Army and support? Well, I'll start with, you know, there's several businesses in Rutherford County, um, and there's a reason we're called Volunteer State, but there are several businesses in in Rutherford County that give back. I want to say that we live in the best county in the state of Tennessee um, that gives back to those in need, uh, that gives back to the organizations that are serving those in need. Um, And, you know, Nissan, they do a great job. Uh, they help out so much uh, during this time period that we're about to begin um, coming up and getting ready for Christmas. I just can't thank them enough for all that they do. Um, Ascend Federal Credit Union also uh, pitches in along with Middle Tennessee Electric. Um, but, you know, if you're a business owner or that if you work for a business and um, you want to contribute, we would love to have you out. There's a number of different ways 
that I would ask for you to consider contributing. Number one would be coming out and ringing the bell. You know, you can volunteer to do that for a three-hour stint, or you can get a, you know, a team together from your workplace and come out and volunteer and ring the bell. Um, and, um, you know, we always need more bell ringers. Every year I hear, man, this is the first time we saw you this year. And, you know, it's late in December, and we don't, we don't want to hear that whenever we're out ringing the bell. You know, we want people to say, hey, we've seen you all out in the, in the community a bunch, you know, already, or I've already donated. You know, I saw you guys, you know, two or three weeks ago out ringing the bell. That's what we want to hear. Um, so we need more bell ringers. We want to encourage you to get out. If you've not done that, it is a humbling experience. Um, but um, it's also something that, that I look forward to. I know um, that I'm giving back to those in need whenever I personally go out and do it. Um, and I know that, you know, any residents that are listening right now, if you've considered doing it, um, it's something um, that, you know, you're going to look back on and you're going to cherish those moments that you were able to, to get out and make an impact in our community. You know, I know so many uh, companies that use this as an opportunity, Jay, to, um, you know, give back to the community, encourage their uh, staff to uh, also volunteer and it can really be a good team building exercise uh, as well so I, I know that there are a lot of great companies that use this as an, as an opportunity around the holidays to do that it is certainly um, you can start a digital kettle uh, there at your workplace um, and raise funds within your organization um, you know like I said you can you can get a team to come out and volunteer you know if you if you just pick one three hour, time slot to come out and ring the kettle that doesn't mean that you necessarily have to be there for a three-hour time period um, for instance at middle tennessee electric we'll have volunteers come out and just ring the, the bell for an hour maybe during their lunch period you know and then we'll have uh, another volunteer come out and take their place to complete that three-hour time span we have uh, Jay Sanders joining us here, chair of the Salvation Army here in uh, Rutherford County and uh, the Red Kettle campaign that usually is is right around Thanksgiving, a day or two before or after, right in there. I guess that's when we'll start seeing the kettles out. Yes, absolutely. We hope that, that, that you're going to see those uh, out in the community by, uh, you know, that, that time period right after Thanksgiving all the way through Christmas. Um, and, you know, again, I just want to encourage you, hey, if you haven't uh, done that in the past, if you haven't volunteered to ring the bell, uh, we want to encourage you to do that. Or um, if you have done it, we want to invite you back. You know, we, we need your help. Um, and uh, we need all the volunteers in the community to come out and be a part of this. Aside from the Red Kettle, you know, there's another uh, program as well that I just want to mention, um, and it's the Angel Tree Program in, in Nissan. You know, they, they really help out with this program. Uh, they provide hundreds of uh, children in need and seniors alike um, with supplies, basic needs, um, and, of course, children, you know, with toys that they might not receive otherwise. Uh, but Nissan does a great job with this, um, as well as the Salvation Army and, uh, and donations from individuals throughout the year. Um, there is some uh, just quick notes on the Angel Tree program that I wanted to mention. Um, the Angel Tree registration for families in need will start October the 1st. And so if, uh, if you're listening today and you know of a family in need, I know it's tough times right now. I know, you know, food is extremely expensive and, and everything has gone up. And so um, some people are, are pretty tight, you know, with their budget this year. And, um, and they may have not have, may not have been in this circumstance before, you know, where they, uh, funds are so tight that they might not be able to provide something for their children for Christmas. So, um, if, but if you know of a family need, families can visit the Salvation Army Murfreesboro.org um, to find the online registration. Again, that's going to start here uh, in just a few days, October the first. Wow. Yeah, I mean, time flies, and uh, it's coming up here so soon about the, uh, w with Angel Tree, and this is an opportunity, and I think a lot of people are familiar with the, how the Angel Tree works, but this, again, is another opportunity for maybe workplaces to get involved and, you know, adopt several angels at one time. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, workplaces can adopt angels, um, and you will get a list of supplies uh, that uh, you ne- you'll need to go shopping for, and then you'll bring over to the Salvation Army, Army um, for us to uh, donate those needs to those specific families and children. Um, alongside that, you know, we also need hands to help distribute those. If you've never distributed uh, the supplies to the uh, recipients, to the actual angels that are receiving them, um, it is remarkable. I want to encourage you to uh, consider that as well. Um, it's a, uh, a two-day program in which uh, those goods get distributed, and it's there at the Salvation Army. And um, again, it's just a remarkable program where you're dropping these items off um, to these individuals as they they come through uh, in their vehicle and they're picking up supplies. Um, but the families that receive this uh, service, um, they're just so thankful to everyone that gives not only their time, but their money as well. So if you go to uh, Salvation Army Murfreesboro.org, right there on the, you, you can't miss it, it's the first thing you see, is Angel Tree registration uh, on the homepage there. And again, that starts October 1st. And uh, that's Salvation Army Murfreesboro.com. And let me go back to uh, the Red Kettle as well for a quick question, Jay. So if someone wants to sign up to ring the bell, I see Register to Ring is is a, an online place to do that. Is that the best way to register? Yes, uh, Register to Ring, um, absolutely. You're going to get all the locations and time slots available there uh, within the Rutherford County area, um, and uh, all that will be online. And then you can also uh, sign up if you've got some teammates um, at work or church or maybe just a group of friends that want to come out and uh, give back. Um, you can do that as well. Um, if you have a, a, a civic group, um, those are always great to come out and volunteer. Even if you have maybe a, a group of um, a group of children, maybe you know it's the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts, um, and they need to do something. As long as they are accompanied by an adult um, that's 18 years or older. Um, hey, we would love to have them out. Um, it's nothing. Uh, you know, it's nothing like seeing a young child out there ringing the bell, giving back their time, um, and knowing that they're making a difference in the community. Yeah, and those who um, have to have volunteer hours for college scholarships and things of that nature, I mean, this is a wonderful opportunity uh, for, for them as well. So um, last couple of minutes here, a couple of things uh, to talk about and maybe talk about the volunteer opportunities that maybe are, are there not just during the holiday time. Right, yeah, and there's, there's several opportunities all year. You know, um, daily meals are served at the Salvation Army. That's part of what we do at the Salvation Army. You know, uh, we provide funding to individuals to uh, and families to keep them in their home. Uh, we provide emergency, emergency shelter um, you know, as, as well for individuals that are in need, um, and then food on a daily basis for those individuals in need. So um, we want to invite you out again. You know, this is another great opportunity just to come and volunteer, um, but, it, you know, you'd be serving those daily meals to those individuals in need. Jay, uh, will will there be a, a beyond the bells is are there things coming up in the spring that maybe we need to know about and let listeners know yes sir yeah there's a couple of events um that are gonna happen um after uh the bell ring um, takes place and and after that concludes so beyond the bells um that is an event a fundraiser event for the salvation army um and that will take place. You'll be notified, and we'll send something out as soon as we get a date and place for that. But if you are a, uh, a company out there and you're looking to sponsor things um, this next year, by all means, in 2025, please let us know. Uh, we would love for you and your organization to join us at Beyond the Bills. And then we also have um, another event, and that takes place in Nashville. It's called Drive for Hope, and uh, so it's a uh, that's that's taking a swing at poverty and uh, assisting those individuals um, in need of the Salvation Army. So a couple of great opportunities. Um, and if folks are looking at 
you know, I, I know businesses look at the end of the year what they want to do for the next fiscal year if it if your starts in January, and so this would be a great opportunity uh, to get involved. And of course, uh, with the Red Kettle campaign and Angel Tree, just lots of great things going on with the Salvation Army. And this stays right here. The the Kettle um, funds that are uh, our donations that are made stay right here in Rutherford County and the uh, Angel Tree helping families, young children, seniors right here in our community. So, uh, Jay, appreciate your work. Um, uh, SalvationArmyMurfreesboro.org and RegisterToRing.com to sign up for Kettles. And appreciate your hard work there with Salvation Army, pal. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Brian. Absolutely. Jay Sanders joining us today, the uh, chair of the Salvation Army Advisory Council from Middle Tennessee Electric. That's it for the show today. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you back here next time for another edition of Rutherford Issues. 